Hi, Sean from Phil and Sean's Vintage Model Radio Museum with what is essentially the very first form of model radio receiver. It's known as a coherer receiver. Just to explain the elements, these are the aerials or the antenna. These are two electrodes. Here's a glass tube filled with uh, silver nickel filings, iron filings. And um, the LED and the rest of the circuitry just shows that when there's a, a closure of these two electrodes by the iron filings aligning, then current will pass. The coherer was widely used as a detector for radio communication and in early 1884 experiments showed that if you had a setup just as this when um, the electromagnetic wave or the energy from a spark hit these they would cohere a line and close the circuit. The coherer became the basis of radio reception and remained widespread for 10, 12, 15 years. So here we go for the experiment. Generate a spark, so here's a, a gas lighter Here's the two electrodes and the aerials, generate a spark, and as you can see, these have actually aligned and the current is passing. Now, to turn it off, it, it needed what was known as a knockback. And what's happened there is that we've decohered. The, the, the iron filings have now broken circuit. So again, click, and there we go. We've generated an electromagnetic wave from the spark. It's made the particles align, the circuit's closed, and knocked back. Now, in model use, um, it was used to control an airship and um, a model airship and a tractor and some other uh, models as well but uh, the, the spark transmitters are very much more powerful than this in fact indeed they're illegal today because they transmit all across the spectrum and could cause massive problems um, this is very low powered this has a range of a, a meter probably does this purposely so there we go finally there we go we've generated the spark we've cohered the iron particles and knock back close Thank you.